Doing well. Thank you, Hippo, for inviting us here today. Hey, my pleasure. And uh, you used to come on about once every three months when you're up in the legislature. Give us That's an right. update. Yeah. But you used to call in from Tallahassee. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> With a Friday trivia show or whatever day of the week that was. That's going back. That's going back eight years. Just really? about eight years. Yeah. 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 That was amazing. Uh, it was a good good ride. And uh, those who do it, uh, uh, you got to enjoy it or be addicted to it. Is it good that there's term limits? Uh, the term limits I supported were eight years. Okay. However, uh, I do believe, think, 10, maybe 12 is more appropriate. In but, the state but, legislature? Yeah, in the state legislature. Congress, uh, there is a lot for institutional memory, and that's the biggest problem we have here in the county. We have in any government is institutional memory. Uh, for instance, I've been trying to research a state law. And it's very difficult to find unless you know where to look for that state law that protects the waters of the uh, watershed of Punta Gorda. And I, I luckily went back to my aide and I said, I cannot find, you know, uh, this law 65-1357. I had to go to the Speaker's office to get it. Uh, and, really? Excuse me, to the Senate. Uh, speaker's office. I had to go to the Senate. Uh, they, have, they have archives of these old laws. Yeah. And, it, and it's still on the books. This law is still on the books. And, so, uh, but it's you just you, you it's the state needs to make things a little bit easier to find. It's not that they're hiding things. It's just I reckon they got a lot to do. Now, why hasn't the conquistadors gone up against the pilgrims as the founding as the conquistadors being here long before the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock? You you you've got it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm I have. From, Lizzie, I have a I'm, from New I'm, a, I'm from New England. Yeah, I'm from and, Virginia. I know. Sixteen oh, you know, seven. Yeah, you know? and here we are. Yeah, uh, we we uh, Europeans uh, have had wars amongst ourselves for many many years throughout the continent, and and I think it's it's that. Uh, you remember the Grand Spanish Armada was defeated by the yeah. English, blah, blah, blah. We go into French, and, you know, blah, blah. Right. We could go on forever and talk about that, the great history of, the, of Europe. And I just think that we, uh, you know, English got here and, and we, you know, were running this nation and we bought Florida from, from the Spanish, you know, and as a result, uh, everything has been leaning to the English version as opposed to leaning to the Spanish or Spanish and English version. Yeah, we in, we in Florida have a great pride in our Spanish history, and look at you know look at Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. Everything has a has a Spanish sort of architecture in most of the homes we built today. Yeah, and uh, it's carryover from yesteryear. You know, uh, America had Spain reigning longer in control of this part of the region, and, it, and they explored up into the Carolinas, uh, and even really? further north. Oh yeah, oh they the Spanish did a were great, great explorers. Uh, they had a great uh, ability. They had a, a call, place called uh, Casa de la Contracción, which uh, was the, uh, the, the place that kept the maps. And as an explorer went out and, and did his thing and came back to, to the king and queen, they, they said, well, where'd you go? And he showed his, his rough little outline of where he went. And so that was the new map for the time. And when it went out again, they got a new map. Okay, now this, yeah. was, this was secret stuff. Okay. Okay. And they kept these items, and so the next explorer came back, and eventually the House of De La Contracion had, it's a house of commerce, really what they call it, had uh, had great maps of, of, of the New World. Wow. And uh, they did did a lot of lot of great work. But what I was getting back to, America has yet to match the date of the reign of Spain in in this southern region of of, of the United States. We, they went for like 300 and I think 25 or 30 years. I have it in my archives here yeah. somewhere. 300 and some years of, of the Spanish reigning uh, this part of, uh, of, of America. Mary, uh, former Mayor Lindsay <laughs> Harry, Harry is here with us this morning. You've been a conquistador for quite some time, too. I'm, I'm the uh, longest serving member <laughs> of the organization at <laughs> this time. <laughs> and I'm, I'm real proud of, 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 uh, uh, of our organization. Uh, you know, we're not a very large group of people. Uh, we're social minded, but we're also community minded. We do things. Uh, we're glad to be involved this weekend with Fisherman's Village and uh, and uh, doing this little early promotion of our fifteen thirteen year celebration. Five hundred years. Five hundred years, and uh, so this is a kickoff. And we thank Fisherman's Village for for uh, for assisting us in doing this. Yeah, Kathy and Hope do a super oh, job down oh, there on the events. Hope is Hope has just been one on one with us for weeks now. 
try to plan something, and and it's and it's and it's adult oriented, yes, but it's mostly children oriented. We have a great history in Florida and and Charlotte Harbor and Charlotte County and Lee County, uh, Collier County have a lot of pride uh, about our place in, in Florida history. Without question, let's go to the phone lines. Good morning. You got a question for uh, Lindsay? Yeah, well, we knew that. Uh, and, and, and Tom DeBray and Charlie went to school with Ponce. Yeah, and, and Lindsay was there when he came, came ashore here. I was a proctor. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Fig. Thanks, Fig. Thank you, Fig. Thanks, Fig. Good morning, everybody. Up close in the house. Talk about uh, the landings. Now, what are the names of the boats again? You got two of them that'll be there. Uh, well, we have uh, the Palencia, which is the the main ship, which yeah. uh, we we've had for quite a long while. Okay. And uh, that will be there, and and also what we call the Pequena Palencia, which is the small Palencia. Okay. And that's the one we use for for running the children around, and 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 we'll we'll also have that there. In the in the Fisherman's Village Mall, uh, for for the children to ride on and parents to take pictures of, of the children and that kind of thing. So now you're going to be there all day from ten to six, right? Ten ten to six. Uh, really, uh, I think everything kicks off at like eleven, but we'll be there ten to six, setting up and getting going. And and we're going to have contests for the children, a poster contest that Hope has put together for us. A treasure, uh, excuse me, it's a explorer's hunt that we're having a treasure like treasure hunt we're having for the kids. Uh, there in the village, uh, we can't thank the, uh, the businesses there at the at, at the village enough for for participating with us and, and being involved. Uh, the villages, of course, have a little little place we all go to with great restaurants and everything. Without question, and uh, I'll be standing there across from the village fish market as yep. I am uh, most Saturdays. I'll be there from 9:30 to 11:30, welcoming get everybody to get down there early enough so they can see all the festivities begin. And uh, we're going to be talking about those uh, the rest of the show and, and talking about the different activities that are going to be going on with Lindsay Harrington. Now, when we studied in school, we all know that Ponce de Leon was looking for the fountain of youth because he heard something about the Indians. About well, that's that's quite an, quite an interesting, interesting story. I've spent weeks, uh, matter of fact, two years doing a lot of research on this and reading as much as I can. And it, and it appears that, that, that there was a... That King Ferdinand had lost his wife. Isabella had passed away. And he married a, a lady about 25 years his junior. And he's in his 60s and she's in his 30s. And uh, he had heard these great stories that had been passed to him by the captains that had been in the, in the Caribbean about this wonderful fountain of youth. The Carib Indians had a story. The Indians of Florida had a story. Most of the islands, uh, supposedly there was a story. Bimini was supposed to be the place of the fountain of youth. Is what the great waters of, of Bimini. And uh, so anyway, uh, supposedly there was a little secret mission to, as you, were, as you explored for, for, for Florida, I mean, for Spain, and find Florida, uh, and, and whatever you find, that's yours. But the king was interested, we believe, in this wonderful fountain of youth, the rivers of Jordan. That's, what, that's, that's a real simplified version of what was going on. It he may have been searching for what the king needed. And now, okay, and as the story goes, you know, a lot of people say that it was uh, actually Warm Mineral Springs that he was looking for. Well, I'm going to tell is you. That, what does that come in? I, I really do think that it's not documented. The, the, the trip is not documented like it should be. There's been a lot of uh, uh, supposition. But the, the, I've always thought Warm Mineral Springs played a great part in this. It really does. You think about, look at the people that flocked to Warm Mineral Springs from around the world. And there is, there is definite therapy there at Warm Mineral Springs for people. Lots of great relief from aches and pains. Uh, that high water, water uh, high mineral content in the water there. There has got to be some relationship there. I know the, uh, the, the scientists and I know the, uh, the historians sort of... Uh, laugh and chuckle uh, under their breath about the story, but uh, if you look at the people today and you say something to it, to them about the about you know, Warm Mineral Springs, they will say it is there. 
modern fountain. I've got a guy that comes to Masani's all the time. Yeah. That bought a house over here because of warm mineral That's springs. Right. That's right. And he sits in that pool every day and he says, yeah. I've got so much rejuvenation and, and uh, so, muscle memory and, yeah, and, and yeah. the aches and pains are gone. And, 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 and you, you, I can't, I mean, I, I go up there, you know, a couple of times a year and I just, Awed by the number of people that kind of going all the time, all the time. And Europeans really believe in that. That's it's a big, big thing with the Europeans. Without question, we're going to be back with Lindsay Harrington talking about the conquistadors when we return right after Tommy's got our weather.